What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. So in today's video I have even more great news for those of you on iOS 16.1.2 and lower, no matter what device you're using, especially if you want a jailbreak soon. So a file manager has been created that allows you to browse the files and overwrite files on the system, which allows you to modify various things without even being jailbroken. We're gonna get into that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode if you forgot it, bypass MDM, remove sim lock, unlock screen time and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know iOS 16.2 was released and with 16.2 came an important update. The fact that the vulnerability in here CVE 2022-46689 was patched. This vulnerability was discovered by Ian Beer of Google Project Zero and it's an important kernel vulnerability which could be used for jailbreak purposes. Well this patch was released back on December 13 and immediately after that the security researcher over here made an application that allows you to change the fonts on your system. You can see a demo over here. Basically you can replace with this application all the fonts on your system. I made a separate video about that but the IPA file is available over here on GitHub and it's actually a fully working application that works on iOS 16.1.2 and lower on unjailbroken devices, any device, and you can change the font as you wish. You can see an example in here the font has been changed only with that application. Well back on December 30, my neck of the Pelerain team posted this quote, gamers I made a file manager for CVE 2022 46689. Note that it can only overwrite files, not create or remove them. Also note that sandbox is still in your way, but editing the system seems to work from my testing. Enjoy. So this is a bare bones file manager based on that vulnerability by Ian Beer, which allows you to overwrite specific files on the system. Now while this is not as useful as files I would be, which is a complete file manager with all the bells and whistles, it's still a very good proof of concept for the vulnerability over here by EM Beer, which can definitely be used for jailbreak purposes. We already have two different applications, pretty powerful indeed, one that changes the fonts on your system even without a jailbreak on all devices, and one that can overwrite files and browse the file system of the device. So these are all both based on the same vulnerability by EM Beer. So this vulnerability can prove very useful for jailbreak purposes in the future, and remember this works on all all these versions over here, possibly even iOS 15, we don't know for sure, but 16.1.2 and lower are all supported. This was only patched on 16.2, so if you're running an older version, do not update. 16.1.2 is a good version to stay to, so don't go to 16.2. You can see in here a lot of developers are taking this vulnerability and we might even be able to see a jailbreak in the future, so definitely nice. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, peace out.